Well, hello my friends and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got finally, after all this time, the tour of my Manny Cave. So let's turn on down to that magical door. There it is. And before we go in, I want to remind everyone, in no way am I trying to show off, brag, or anything about how much I have. I've worked really hard to own all of this. 99% of it I have paid for myself and this is what I do with my money for me so here we go sorry for a little shaky <laughs> all right here we go guys and here it is this is the view from the door the bed is still in here cotton has won this battle so far so that is the overall look of it I'm gonna walk in and turn this is, and you get to see a little bit of me, is my stamping polish rack. And then we have a radio. And then down on the shelves in the green bucket are things that I need to um, do caps or those uh, swatch dots on top. The red bucket is stuff for giveaways. The bucket right beside that is gel polishes. And then down below that in the clear bucket on the bottom shelf is like all my extras, my big bottles of acetone and Sheshvit and thinner and things like that. And then the blue bucket is things I need to review or haul or show on my channel. So I'm going to turn here and we're going to look at this wall. This wall has three of the acrylic wall racks, um, the large ones, the Gigunda ones. And these right now are holding my Zoyas, my Pacificas, my Kiss Gels, China Glaze, some of my China Glaze, and the um, LA Colors in those special bottles. Um, and then above that we have an air vent, yay. And then it, trink it tinkles my little wind chime here that's got like a lightning bolt and moons and suns on it. So, okay. So sorry about all the moving around. I'm going to try to behave. Alright, over on the other wall we have three more of the large acrylic racks, and right now they're holding my OPIs, some more China Glaze, and then some special effects toppers from Dance Legend. And, um, but I'm thinking about moving all of that. We'll talk about that again another time. And over here, <laughs> we'll start on the floor, is my um, OPI trundle box thing. And it used to hold all of my stamping polishes and stamping plates. Well now, it's just holding all my stamping plates and my stampers. We will get into that in another video. Beside that, we've got my Helmers. I lined them up side by side so I could use them as extra flat surface to put my nail dryer, my UV LED lamp, lint roller, cotton balls, tape, and my polish shaker, and my little mats. And then above that, we have a shelf. And, um, oh, it's not liking that. Um, hang on just a moment. Okay, so that glowing right in the middle is an actual moon. It's a 3D moon that my sons bought me for Mother's Day. It glows blue, which is what it is now, and also a yellow color. And there's my little nail polish ornament from Sandy and Nikki from Twins Rock. And then I've got my little nail stands up there that um, my friend JKB gave me. Um, for when I'm displaying or doing nail art and I just need something to hold a nail tip. And then I have my little angel in my moon with um, all my Harry Potter necklaces. And then I'm going to turn and do the other shelf. This shelf holds my carbon monoxide detector. <laughs> and my candle from my friend Tammy. It's the beer butter Harry Potter candle. And then my special bottles of nail polish that my friend Drea made for me the crocheted bottles, and then also the fancy bottles that my other friend Shannon sent me. So that is that. Now, we're going to come down to where it all happens, and let me get kind of settled. Look, Cotton came to hang out with us. This is my little nail table. It folds, this end of the table folds down, and it can be a cube, and it's on caster, so you can move it around. Um, I've got the two drawers. I've got nail mats all over the desk. I've got an empty basket for things that I need to do or if I'm picking out polishes for a mani. I've got my two ot lights here. And then you can see my scissor arm where my camera normally sits and hangs over me. 
and then my plug-in so that I can plug things in easily. It's up, not up, not down on the floor where I can, you know, mess up my nails trying to trying to get to it. Got a couple stampers sitting out, um, my dampen dish, and then I've got this handy dandy little paper towel holder thing and my trash can, and then my fancy snazzy little chair that my sons bought me one year. And that is where it all happens. So, I really do like the little scissor setup because I can, you know, point it down, point it up, point it, you know, all over the way. And I got my three, my two odd lights. Three, two, one, whatever. So, um, you can see how bright they make it. They make it nice and pretty. And um, there's the closet door. This tour's not over yet. Hang on just a moment. Okay, so here's the openings of the closet. We're going to go on in here. And um, some of the stuff in here is not nail related. So I'm going to try to, um, you know, bypass some of that. <laughs> I'm going to keep it to the side. That right there are all my little backgrounds for when I make videos. I don't change them out as often as I should. But, you know, I do have them and I do change them. Then we've got the little armrest pillow for when I'm doing manicures for my friends or family. And that little red tub there holds all of my top coats and base coats. And then oh, down there, you can't hardly see it, but there in the little bag is my um, light box for taking swatch photos, which I'm trying to find a place for that. And there are extra tripods and things of that nature. And then a tub of empty tubs and buckets and cups and bags and, you know, we all need things. When we're hauling polish and stuff, we sometimes need you know, things to put them in. This tub on the very end, that is empty mailers for when I mail out uh, stamping plates or goodies to my friends. And in the back of that tub is like all the cards and business cards and, you know, things that, you know, people have sent me over the years. Next to that, oh, see, I'm out of breath. This is so much. Uh, next to that, we've got other empty containers and then there's some glitter in there and, you know, things that I'm working on. And then next to that one, we have our acrylic paints. And then another tub full of everything. It's got nail foils, gems, stickers, water decals. Uh, if it's our nail art extra, it's, it's in that bucket right there. All right, now I'm going to stand up. And then this is my tub of minis. This is where I keep all of my minis. This is my on-the-go, grab-it-and-go in case I'm going to do nails over at a friend's house or a family reunion or anything like that. I don't use minis on me hardly ever, but I do like having a whole bunch of them because in that way, you know, you've got an assortment for, you know, different colors and, and stuff. Oh, and look what we found. Another Sonia Kushak's tools brush. Yay! Okay, and then next to that, let me back up because it's acting blurry. I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. Next to that is my label maker with extra labels and swatch pop sticks. That is, um, that hadn't been used in a while. We'll talk about that again another time. And then in the blue tub right there is my swatch dot kit. It's got my, you know, carpet tape and double-sided dots and, and all the little clear cabochons. <laughs> oh, and here is my container of peelies. These are manicures I have worn and peeled off. Yep, I know. It's kind of sick, like saving baby teeth. And then behind that, we've got my um, swatch wheels. The ones on top are the non-reusable ones again, but I have decided what I'm going to do with them. You'll see in one of the next videos. And then in that little tub is my reusable nail wheels. And then down here is the swatch box, which I have shown before. And... Up above it is pop sticks that got swatched and labeled and never put into the box. So one day we'll have to get it together. So, all right, we're going to turn back around and see my glowing room. Oh, and here we go. I'll let y'all see cotton while I wrap this up. So, cotton normally hangs out with me, and this is what he's normally doing while I'm doing my videos. This is what we do, huh, baby? So, Anyway, that is my 
tour of my mammy cave. I'm very excited and I'm happy to be able to share this with you all. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment down below and I'll talk to you soon. So until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you later. Bye.